We have actually made ourselves a bit more vulnerable uh, than we may have been in the past. Mm. As a run from the water, the water comes so fast. Like it's a run with them. Anyway, river walk one time. I know you're going to walk back here again. You know, people run with things, intermediate, intermissive, like, mean like, intermissive have sex, sex inside of the shelter. You know, inside of the shelter. You know, you expect that you're going to come to a shelter and get, and get steak and, and these kind of things. When the last we have come now, we see it washed by the wall. It's a nurse. No, this hurricane I look like a wicked. It's become a problem for disaster officials during the hurricane season. Death and destruction in places like Portland Cottage in Clarendon, Manjanil in Portland, and Kintyre and Caribbean Terrace in St. Andrew. But the appeals, warnings, and threats of mandatory relocations have done little to change the behavior of people building and living in these focal points. Informal communities or supporter communities tend to be the most vulnerable communities that, that, that you will have. And, and, and um, a lot of times, squatting is, is a byproduct of, of um, your, your economic status. We find that the, the poorer persons tend to be the ones that live in, in a lot of these informal, informal communities. But some residents, like Jeffrey Thompson in Caribbean Terrace, say leaving their communities would mean leaving their livelihoods. Well, a good feeling when well, back in the time come again, you have to just walk in there. You throw a fisherman by the coast, you know, watch no things. Yeah. A circle. Yeah. So, you know. Across town in the community of Kintyre, people are still living near the bank of the Hope River, which often overflows during periods of prolonged heavy rains and on more than one occasion, sent houses crumbling down. David Robinson, who has lived in Kintyre for the past 30 years, knows only too well the wrath of the weather. But he has been more relieved since a new bridge was constructed in 2013. Wow, an hurricane season. Before we have that bridge, uh, is our uh, wash run and something, isn't it? Yeah. It, and that uh, car can't go across, our people can't go across and something, isn't it? So, 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 so what, 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 what was, what was the problem with the old bridge? Oh, come like they, they span them and then put in between the two floats and want to why that, that things can't flow through, you see me? In Manchineal, Portland, on Jamaica's eastern coast, community activist Denroy Palmer believes that education is critical in the mission to change people's behaviors about disaster preparedness. We can't tell the people to relocate from here because basically most people view here as a very historical community. It's have a strong history. This is the kitchen, the old house with Arcane Sunday mashup. Arcane and come on, let me see it and mount up. Hi, and the first wave come, I don't leave out. The second wave come because each time the wave get bigger and bigger. You understand? But so when the last wave come now, we see it washed by the wall. It's a nurse. This hurricane look like a wicked. Mm. So run from the, 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 the water. The water comes so fast. Like it's a run with them. Over the years, with all of these hurricanes, we hardly have a lot of stuff like here. So that is the impact of education because people don't go out and back down and as a lot they, sh they should do. But what they do, we have the, 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 the area that we call shelters and as soon as people feel that they are in danger, they move to the shelter. But shelters present their own challenges, at least in Portland Cottage. We don't have a problem with the schools being used as shelters, but I think there has to be um, greater emphasis on um, educating the persons who are using the, 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 the schools as shelter that they have a responsibility to protect the, 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 the school and the school property. You cannot use a school to be a shelter. Yes. It's just a, a the school accommodate I think little over 200 children. That is the accommodation for the school. And when hurricane time comes, you have over a thousand people going to the school. Right, and you don't have no bathroom facility at the school. When the people them 
gather at the school, you have whole eve an indecent thing going at the school. People, feces all over the, the place. You have people going up there with babies and certain things that taking place up there. The, 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 the shelter come in like, sometimes it come in like a hotel. Explain that. You know, people go on with things, intermediate, intermediate. Like, you mean like uh, intimacy, sex, sex inside of the shelter? You know, inside of the shelter. What you me? Because no light no up there, no, okay. no current no up there. Okay. It is how it is managed because, because you're a part of it is that the, your shelter manager has the best as possible. Manage, manage the shelter. It, it is done not only in conjunction with us and the local authority, but also with, with, with the police. And you have to find, you, you don't, you try not to separate families one. You, you, you ensure that, that you are, that you are protecting um, women, elderly and, uh, 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 elderly and children. So, so uh, you have to build in that as well your 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 security component how you ensure that you are protecting the vulnerable person that will be in the in the, in the shelter and and we try to get people to realize that your shelter is a temporary hole in here so certain things that you would do at home you don't expect to come and do that at a shelter um and you don't really expect that you can come to a shelter and get and get steak and, and these kind of things